one would have to say that Dr. Yan's body of research has really been an example of ingenuity in bringing forth the basics of biochemistry to bear into the nascent field of nanotechnology. I'm passionate about applying knowledge from biology and from nature and create nanoscale objects, devices and um, robotics that can help cure the diseases. The beauty of DNA double helix and the genetic code embedded in the molecule tells us chemistry is not only connecting bonds and it carries information and we can take advantage of that information to make molecule programmable. And now, a chemist like me is now, it becomes a molecular programmer. That is really fascinating. Of the applications of biochemical structures to actuate phenomena at very small scales, a place that we would not be without his work after perhaps two decades of work at ASU. He's one of the world leaders in this area of, of uh, structural uh, DNA nanotechnology. He is uh, universally respected around the world for his intellect, his creativity, his really interesting ideas and ability to deliver on them in, in a really significant way. I mean, he's been able to create materials that uh, can impact so many different fields. Uh, and devices that uh, enable new capabilities and now uh, more recently new shots on goal in terms of medicines. I think there's a great potential of applying our research in programmable medicine. I hope one day we could use the nanobot we created to help cure diseases such as cancer. Since arriving at ASU I would say that Dr. Yan has taught biochemistry to hundreds of undergraduate students. He's become sort of a staple in, that dis in the teaching of that discipline at ASU. He has also mentored tens, probably more than 30, graduate students to completion. Well, it's the moment that the students landing a job in industry as a scientist or becomes a professor in a university. I know that you know, they will take what they have learned from ASU and from the lab to make a positive impact to the field and the society. That kind of impact can amplify exponentially. I've had the pleasure to share my career with Dr. Jans for over 20 years at ASU, and I can't really remember any one time when I address him with a question, with a comment, with some idea, where he would not have taken the time to address it in depth and correctly. He's always been a pleasure to work with. The inspiring intellectual networks of the students, postdocs, and the collaborators, and also the tremendous support I've received from ASU leadership, all contributed to the success of my research program.